Welcome to my world. Well, I have three great skillet meals for you from pantry to stovetop to freezer. Real easy to do, Dollar Tree friendly and pantry friendly. Some of them are all Dollar Tree items. Easy to obtain, cook, budget friendly to save your family money. We'll feed four, some of them will feed six. All these will have leftovers and they will store nicely in your freezer. You put them into your food storage containers and write on them what's in it and the date and how to make it. Let's see. What you're gonna do is follow directions on the box. We're gonna boil the noodles and take out the packet. Then we're gonna take the ground beef and cook it until it's done, adding the manwich with some garlic, salt, and black pepper. And then we're going to add the sauce on top of the meat and the manwich mix as well as the cheese and then when the noodles are done we're going to incorporate the noodles into the meat mix. Well, the pot is three quarters of the way full and I always add a little bit of salt into the water when the noodles are in. This will come to a raging boil before you add your pasta. I'll get this to a raging boil. My husband works from home so you'll hear him in the background. He's got a loud booming voice. About a teaspoon of salt. Then you're going to add in about a teaspoon to three teaspoons of oil when the pasta's in and you're going to stir it so the pan turned on with the stove top. I'm going to start it out with medium heat. Start changing color when it's heating up. You're going to take your butter spray, spray it a few times around, especially if you have an older pan and the Teflon's wearing. I'm going to take a splash of salt so it doesn't splatter up in your face. And we're going to start browning the beef. Again, it's not everybody's forte. All cultures eat different things. And you're going to go ahead and dump in the beef. You're going to take a fork or a spatula and break it up. Break up the beef. I defrosted it for about three minutes so it was easy to work with. And break it up. If you have a larger family size, add on as needed. When I cook, I cook for a family of four, sometimes three, because my 12-year-old doesn't eat a ton of meat. And break it up pretty well. And again, you'll hear my husband in the background. And I'm going to take out, once this starts browning, the seasoning blend vegetables with the celery peppers and onions. And have them cook with the beef. And then we're going to season with garlic, salt, a few teaspoons, and a few teaspoons of fresh black cracked pepper. Oh, nicely. And we're going to add in about a quarter of a cup of the seasoning blend from Dollar Tree and let them cook for a few minutes before we add our on seasoning blend with the peppers, onions, and celery. I'm going to add it in and then you're going to mix it up. And we're going to be using this in another dish as well for flavoring. It's going to reduce your heat. The water for the pasta is almost to a raging boil. You boil, you're going to take out the cheese packet and you're going to cook it according to the directions on the box, usually about 10 minutes until the pasta is in the pasta. When it's done cooking, we'll strain it and slowly layer the frying pan with all of the food to make it one complete meal. 
I'm going to add about a tablespoon to three teaspoons of cooking oil. Just add about a tablespoon of butter. Perfect. I have to put cooking oil on my shopping list for this coming weekend's grocery haul. We have a grocery haul players list. Please check it periodically and don't forget to set your timer so it doesn't overcook. If you like your pasta al dente, cook it a little less. I prefer it to be soft but not mushy. Let's go check the stovetop with the beef. Amazing in here. It is time to add the sandwich. The beef is fully cooked with the bell peppers and onions. It's going to make it pop. Add in a few teaspoons of garlic salt. And then a few teaspoons of black pepper. Always season it to your taste. Pour it on in. You can even serve the neat mixture over garlic toast. That would be delicious. I think I've done a video on that. Check out my quickly players list as well as our Dollar Tree dinner. Everything in. And this is going to continue to simmer. this, I'm going to add your jar of sauce now. The meat, the sauce, and the man which came from the Dollar Tree. The Kraft macaroni and cheese was from my pantry that was gifted to it. Go ahead and reduce your heat to low, and you're going to let this simmer. We're going to add in the macaroni soon, and this smells incredible. A beefy Sloppy macaroni. Very pantry friendly and Dollar Tree friendly. We'll feed a lot of people for under six bucks. If you know of any prices that are cheaper than Dollar Tree, please buy there. Or if you can't get to the supermarket, it's okay to buy it there. Done, so we're going to turn off the macaroni. It's okay to remove it a couple minutes early. Always be mindful around a hot stove, especially when you just turned off a burner. Dump it on in, then you're going to incorporate it within the meat. This smells incredible. So many wonderful ideas to use your box kits and embellish them, make them semi homemade. Those of you who get summer vacation early, before actual summer, great family meals with everybody home. Or if you're single, make a big batch of it, separate it out, and plan it throughout the entire month on your meal planning board with a rotation meal plan and theme nights. Please check out our meal planning players list. This is just about done very easy and quick to cook. Sandwich with the ground beef, the cheese packet, and put it on my pantry shelf to use with another meal. When I have kits, I always keep the pieces that I don't use in Verde. It comes with rice and a Verde packet and a seasoning packet. You add your chicken. This is a fair amount of chicken from the Dollar Tree for $1.25 around four dollars at Walmart. I'm going to use this brown rice that's microwavable rather than the actual rice packet because my rice doesn't always come out perfect and this is quicker and easier and you'll get dinner on the table faster. So I'm going to pop the rice right into the microwave for 90 seconds. Do not cut it open until it is done so it doesn't explode in your microwave. 
This is going to cool down further. I wiped it down because I made a big mess. More than it cool down for the ways to utilize things within your pantry that you never thought of before and make them into one complete kit. Now, I decided not to use the beans in the beefy sandwich with noodles and the sauce. And we're going to be using that within the chicken verde to add some vegetables to it. Once the rice is done in the microwave, we're going to throw it onto a skillet. We're going to drain the can of chicken and chop it up. Get that onto the skillet and add the seasoning packet out of the microwave. to work with 15 ounces for buck 25 more than the Kreider and more flavorful I've used many times within the Dollar Tree dinners nice tender chicken always watch your fingers when you are pan on it to medium heat whatever you use we're gonna throw the rice on been standing for about a minute. I'm going to spread it all over the frying pan and add some vegetables before we even add up the chicken. I use my favorite butter spray, so always give it a once round before you place the rice onto your skillet. This makes a lot of food. I love the rice packets from Dollar Tree. I need to see if I can find a long grain one and another organic one to stockpile for quick, easy dinners. And you can make these kits even quicker by using the microwave and saving the rice for your family for another time. Rest the spoon there. I'm gonna grab the frozen vegetables and we're gonna use it about a quick. Green pep it has black beans, red peppers, diced onions, and green peppers within the mix. Perfect for this chicken verde. About a quarter of a cup, drop it on in. Mix it in. Even has corn pieces. Perfect for a salsa verde. I do switch things up on occasion from what I originally planned to make it better for you. I'm going to let this cook for a minute and then the chicken. And I'm going to have this set aside for lunches during the week. In between dishes, I made sure everything was clean and sanitary. So there was no cross-contamination worries. Let's go ahead and add in the first of the packet. I'm going to add in the, the powder part. Oh, it smells incredible. Let's get the garlic salt on. Pinch and a smidgen of black pepper. You're going to mix it in and add the wet packet to the verde. I'm also going to add in about a quarter cup of water. I don't know if this is spicy, but I'm anxious to try it regardless. Add in the water. And you're going to mix. Water will help stretch the verde and thin it if it's too powerful for you. This would be good with some kind of Mexican cheese too. Sour cream on top. Nice big dollop. I to stretch your dollar further and to save money to feed your family. Check out the Dollar Tree for their new weekly items. I was so happy to find this a salsa verde and mix it up with the organic brown rice. The rices are usually with the pastas and the rices towards the bottom. 
check them out at the Dollar Tree next time you go and look for the new kits. And next time I go, I'm going to see if they have a meat version or a pork. We're going to remove it from the heat. You don't want it to burn. And it mixed in nicely with the brown rice. And the beans are going to help the rice and the chicken stretch further. I'm going to let the stove top cool way down before we start chicken verde with the Santa Fe. Switching things up from the first dish. And the beans are going to stretch the chicken and the rice further. Now on to the final dish. Third dish. We're going to get some water boiling for the egg noodles. And I have in this bag, because I have a family of four, and that bag in there is not going to cut it. So I'll just keep the bag sealed and add it with these for another meal. And then we're going to brown up the beef. Add the cream soup, whatever seasoning packets inside the box. This is the Real Hamburger Helper, name brand, available at the Dollar Tree. They also have a chicken one that you can use. Water in and three quarters of the way full. Then the egg noodles. It takes the longest to cook, so let's get the burner on to medium heat. Your butter spray on your frying pan first. You're going to turn your heat on to medium heat. I always start with medium heat. Then we're going to throw down some of the frozen peppers, onions, and celery first. Perfect. You're going to let them cook and turn translucent the uh, beef down, whatever you have, onto the pan. And then you're going to break it up. Once the water is at a raging boil, we'll add the egg noodles. Now I'm disappointed with Hamburger Helper. They don't put them in bags anymore, the egg noodles. So I'll probably just add them in to the actual egg noodle bag that I already have and put a paper clip on them so they stay fresh. And I've been saving all my Pringles cans to house pasta and spaghetti and egg noodles and things once they're opened to keep them sealed and fresh. Let's break up the beef here like we did with the first dish, get it incorporated with the vegetables. Once the beef is all browned, you're going to add on the cream soup. First we're going to add the garlic salt and the black pepper. Garlic salt, just a smidgen, and a, a smidgen of black pepper. Because it has a flavoring packet. Now you're going to use your measuring cup or mug and put in about a quarter cup of water before we add the seasoning packet once it's browned. A little bit to get the beef browned quicker and then I'll turn it down back to medium heat and then down to low once the seasoning packet and cream soup's on. And down to low. This is really nice and brown and cooked well doesn't take that long at all. Now we're going to take the packet that was inside the kit and add it in with a quarter cup of water. I'm going to put the water in first and then the cream soup because you don't want to dilute the cream soup. And go ahead and mix so all the seasonings are blended. And take your cream soup and dump it in. Then incorporate it with the beef and the vegetables and all the seasonings. And you're going to let this sit for about 10 15 minutes. It's about the raging boil starting to. I'm going to use a half a bag and save the other half for another time by adding in the hamburger helper egg noodles. Nothing gets wasted. Give it a good stir, and you can add a little bit of cooking oil. Continue to mix the beef with all the vegetables. The egg noodles are almost done. I'm going to remove them because they're going to continue to cook on the, the skillet. So I'm going to turn off the timer. Okay. 
and then you're going to incorporate them with the mixture of the meat. It smells amazing. So we're going to turn off the heat and put it into a bowl. I'm going to plate everything and try a little bit of everything. I'm going to help her with the cream and mushroom soup and the beef and using the actual egg noodles that I picked up. The chicken verde that we added, the sandwich fish we made, the beefy macaroni with sandwich. It smells amazing. This is going to feed six with leftovers. I'm going to try a little bit of each. We have on the plate the hamburger helper with the cream soup. And then this, this is the organic brown rice with the chicken verde and the Hormel chicken. And this last one is that sandwich with the macaroni. We served that rice and the egg noodles for other dishes too. I'm going to try the macaroni one first. A lot of beef. Mm. That's really good. I'll put the hamburger helper with the cream soup. That's going to really make it pop like a casserole. Mmm. Oh my god. It's so mouth-watering. The hamburger helper so far is my favorite. In this dish, we added the celery and bell peppers and onions, as well as the hamburger helper. In this dish, we added in the Santa Fe with the beans and the onions and the bell peppers, two different colors. Then the seasoning blend was in the hamburger helper and the sandwich. This is the verde that I've been dying to try. Mm. It's not spicy. It's awesome. You can uh, save your leftovers and make them into wraps for burritos the next day, the Santa Fe one. All your leftovers, freeze them and use them for other meals. Easy skillet meals that are 25 minutes or less to make, prepped and ready to go to your freezer. The hamburger helper, this is uh, two meals. The salsa verde is in one container. You can heat it up then you can make the extra into burritos. This is the sandwich with the macaroni and we reserve that cheese packet. It's going to feed my family of four a couple of times. So on my next meal planning board I have my heat and eats all ready to go. And what I love about the salsa verde, it's delicious. You heat up what you want from what you have and then the leftovers can go into a burrito wrap for lunch next day. And any of the leftovers within the containers are perfect for lunch next day to heat them up. And really, thank you so much for hanging out with me in my kitchen today. We got those three skillet meals done and they're in containers ready for the freezer. Then I have my heat and eats planned for the entire month of June. Take them out, thaw them, cook them, and I can utilize leftovers for lunches the next day. That is being frugal. That is being budget friendly. That is stretching your dollar further. We used to say we want to stretch that dollar further to give you more bang for your buck, save you money. I haven't done that in a long time. This is a great video. I hope you all enjoy it. If you have any meals that you cooked that you want to share with me, send them via email, countryboots1268 at yahoo.com or to my Facebook page, Let Us Eat, Cook, Clean, and Family, which collaborates with this channel. And we also have a group. All those links are down below with my photography page if you like photography, as well as our Retro Shack group, my TikTok page, Pinterest account, and my Coffee Addicts group. All those links are down below, including the email.